Hey guys, I'm Matt Pittman of Meat Church, here to show you guys how to make rockin' juicy burgers on your Traeger grill. So this is gonna be another really easy recipe for you guys to do at home. What we've got here is some 80-20 uh, chuck ground beef. So I like to put about 20% fat into my meat. Fat's flavor, if you use a meat that's too lean, it'll be hard to form the patty and they don't taste as good, in my opinion. So 80-20 is the way to go in my book. I'm gonna do this all with my hands. You guys can use a burger press or anything like that if you want, but we're just gonna make a few, you know, it's like a nice handful is a good probably half pound burger. Make a little ball here. This is easy, I, I, you know, I like them nice and messy, to be honest with you. I don't want a perfectly formed burger. It's not what it's about in your backyard. All right, now that we've got these patties formed, I'm gonna season it with my beef rub, which is Meat Church Holy Cow. This is a perfect blend of coarse black, cracked pepper, kosher salt, a little bit of onion, just a touch of paprika. Flip these over and uh, season both sides. A nice little even application and we're gonna be good to go so we're gonna take these out to the grill there's a lot of latitude with how you how you grill these really really easy you know I like to go about 375 degrees you can go up to 450 go up to high on your grill if you want to cook them even quicker just kind of up to you so now that we've got these seasoned up let's go outside okay guys so we're here with our timberline at 375 degrees, gonna put these patties on. You know, there's a lot of latitude on a hamburger as well. The recommendation is to cook ground beef to 165 degrees. I personally don't like it cooked quite that far, but you get to choose how done you want these. In any case, at 375, uh, these are probably gonna take, you know, 10 to 15 minutes max, depending on your liking, and I'll flip them one time during the cook. That's it. These burgers are done. But, I like cheese, so. Okay guys, this cheese ought to be melted. Woo, perfection. Okay, let's go dress them up. Okay guys, so we're in off the grill. We've toasted a couple buns for about five minutes on the Traeger and we're ready to dress them up. So I like to put my lettuce uh, on the bottom of my buns and it kind of acts as a bib to catch any sort of juices that might you know, run out of your uh, meat that you've cooked. And then you get to put whatever the heck you want on your hamburger. The classic has a little red onion for me. Don't sleep on the pickles. Get a good even pickle distribution. And you put what you want on the buns. Perfect, that was super easy, the American classic. Get our pickles going there with it. You got yourself a feast. So if you guys want the recipe, just go to TraegerGrills.com slash recipes, or you can download the app. Yeah.